The sun's going down. What a lovely evening. What a lovely... What... Um... Hello everybody and welcome back to another mod spotlight. Today's mod we're going to be looking at the Bacteria mod by Tenox. I think that is how you pronounce it. Yeah guys, so welcome back. We haven't done a mod spotlight in a little while. Now I came across this mod in the forums and I thought I'd review it. Seems as it is such a cool mod and it is so good. There's so many items in this mod, but I'm going to go through everything, how everything works and show you some really awesome things um, and if you if you found this um, also check out their forum and you you'll see a video explaining how everything works because I just know the basics but I'm gonna sort of try my best to explain everything for you uh, okay so what we are going to need first is our bacteria now what this mod actually does is it adds in bacteria that spreads so if I put bacteria here um, and then I put a redstone torch next to it what will happen is amazingness will happen that's what will happen uh, water will just disappear the bacteria will eat it all up you can do literally anything with this bacteria you can get rid of any block I don't know if it works for items but I do know that it does work for like um, I think it works for logs and stuff as well um, and this bacteria is so cool you can do lots of things with the bacteria so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna show you how it will work with the water but the first thing we're gonna to need to do is create the bacterium colony now the bacterium colony is this thing here now what we're gonna need for this is a bunch of bacteria literally um, and we're gonna need a redstone torch uh, so the redstone torch is created with a bit of redstone and a stick that's you know the default recipe for that uh, so we're gonna to need to put these like that so for the bacteria, what we're going to need to do is collect ourselves some sponge because what we're going to need to do is create ourselves some must. Now, the must is sort of like the growing thing to it. So if you break the must once it's grown, you will get yourself some bacteria, a bunch of bacteria. So what we're going to need to do is get ourselves a sponge. And if you, if I go in the must here, you can see we need a sponge, we need two bread, and we need a water bucket. Now, the sponge is created like so. Um, but you can also find it in um, oceans and lakes like this um, You just look around for it and you should see some sponge around the world So if you've got loads of sponge this mod is great uh, because you won't have to create it But it is still a really cool mod, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into it now So what we're gonna need to do is create ourselves sort of like a greenhouse here now um, I'm sort of copying the design that the uh, mod creator has um, made uh, because he's, I think if you've got like glass around it and stuff it works now what we're going to want to do is after we've created our must we are going to put the must down uh, so I'll put it down like this show you how this works uh, so we've put the must down now what we're going to want to do is put water on top of the must now uh, I don't know why you put it on top of the must I thought, thought you'd be able to put it underneath or something um, but this is actually a really cool um, sort of design I guess and you can sort of create like farms of these must these must farms um, and it does require quite a few resources if you don't have sponge and all that but it's still it's really creative I guess I mean he's really thought about what recipes and what everything does in this um, and I think it's a really cool mod so if you like this mod go and check it out so what we're gonna do now is we are going to have to wait for this um, what's it called again the must to grow um, and now I've created one I created one earlier so I'm going to show you how it works so if I go over here this is the final product as you call it so we've got here the must um, and that's the same must as over there but it's just grown so the must has gone all sludgy and horrible and ugh. so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go out of um, creative mode and we're going to break this must um, I'm just going to break it all here uh, now I'm probably going to die um, and I think it does it I think it breaks the same as it would if you were breaking dirt um, but it sounds a little bit like sand so I think it's I think it's the same sort of consistency I guess as sand um, now we've got five bacteria from that and that is plenty to create our bacteria um, colony Col colony our bacteria colony so then after you've done that you can create some more must and you can place it back down so now that we've created our bacterium colony I'm just going to go back to creative so I can show you how this would work. So this is the bacterium colony. Now what I'm going to do quickly is spawn in a redstone torch because I didn't do that. I should have done that beforehand. Let me just get one of them. Um, and I'm going to show you how we're going to destroy or we're going to infect all of this water in one time. So what we're going to need to do is we are going to need to place down the bacteria 
below uh, the block that you want to destroy. So if I want to destroy all of this water, we're going to place it down there. And you can see it sort of, it's in flush and it is, the water is above it, which means we'll be able to, to uh, break it. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to dig down um, until we can get to this. We're going to place our redstone torch. Now, hopefully this works. If it doesn't, we need to place it in a different location. I don't know why it's doing that. I think it's like a bug. Um, yeah, it is It is a little bit buggy and there's a lot of things that they've got to sort out. Uh, but hopefully that should spread. There we go. You can see it starts spreading now. Um, now, I don't know where you place the redstone. And you can also... Um, you, look how cool this is. Look, it's just removing all of the water. Look, look. Look, can you see this? Look at this. Look, it's just removing literally the block that you want it to infect. It will infect and it will remember that block. And it just spreads like absolute crazy. Um, it's just literally amazing. Literally, you can do so much with this. You can uh, you can destroy lakes, so you can get like some sand. You can do loads of different things. Um, and this is really good for if you're going down like a mine or something. You can use this mod um, to clear out all of the stone. So all you've got left is the redstone, the coal, the gold, the diamond, all the lapis and everything all related you will be able to get. Um, now that's this now what I'm gonna do quickly is jam this now I've just jammed that with the bacteria jammer now I'm gonna show you how to create that now if you are ever going to uh, uh, use this mod and you're gonna like destroy mass of items you're gonna need to create yourself a bacteria jammer now you can probably already see what it does and it's quite expensive we're gonna need three bacteria colony a bit of iron and a redstone torch to create the bacteria jammer now I do believe I'm not sure because I'm not in um, survival but I don't know if it's got a certain like uh, health limit so if you use it more than like 10 times it will break I'm not sure um, but that is the bacteria jammer or the bacterium is it the bacteria it's bacteria jammer um, yeah and that will that will um, stop the bacteria from spreading further um, and that is really cool that's a really cool feature if that wasn't there it would be just crazy um, now another thing I'm going to show you quickly is I'm going to I'm going to destroy the dirt here um, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down the bacteria jammer block now This is created still quite expensive. It's the same We just put cobblestone around the outside around the outside and that will give us our bacteria jammer block Now what we're going to do is I'm going to place this um, where should we place it? Let's place it Let's place it here because we don't want to break anything beyond this point now I'll just show you how this works um, and you, you can probably, um, I don't know if it works, but I think you can place these like in like a like an area where you don't want it to go past. So if you want to clear out areas, I recommend you getting these jammer blocks because this will stop everything from uh, infecting further than you want it to, I guess. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to place down our bacterium colony again. Um, yeah, we're going to place this down and I'm going to place it under the block. I'm going to torch this up and hope that it works let me just sort this out is it gonna work please work for us um, and I think it's because it takes so long to spread and there we go it started spreading uh, but yeah I was gonna say you can actually um, oh god this is it's gonna disappear oh no oh, no it'll be fine um, I was gonna actually say that you can actually um, now it needs to spread this way come on let's go um, you can change the different properties um, on the actual forum it gives you options to change uh, different bits different properties now is this going to reach all the way I think it will because yeah okay so as soon as it will get to here it will stop it will jam everything beyond this point or in this area now will this keep spreading please spread there we go it's still spreading yeah so you can change the properties you can change the speed I don't know what else you can change that's all I really saw because I'm not sure about the properties I don't know how to change all of them but it is possible to do so so as you can see when it hits here um, and I think it's gonna is it gonna there we go you can see that it's well it's broke it's bro broken blocks a little bit beyond the point uh, that we placed down the jammer but you can see how that would work let me just change it back to daytime um, so yeah, it will block everything else from going that way. I mean, this is a bit flawed because we, we pretty much messed up the whole of this world already. Um, and it is a bit of frame rate droppy, so we've just got to watch out for that. So that is the bacteria jammer block. Now, the last thing I'm going to move on to before I show you some really cool stuff is the replacer colony. Now, this is created exactly the same, just with cold. Um, now, actually, quickly, before I'm going to do that, I'm going to show you um, how this will bacterium colony works with m like mass block 
destruction, I guess. Um, so if we place this down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab different blocks here. I'm going to place these down. So we've got this, we've got grass, um, and grass and dirt are the same thing. So you do not need two of them. Uh, but as you can see, we can stack all these items on top of each other. Let me grab some stone. Let's put the stone on top and let's torch this baby up. Now, I think you only need to put it in one place because I'm being impatient. I'm just placing them everywhere. I don't know if it's doing anything. Uh, but as you can see, and I think the stone will remain, but it will work. Um, oh, no, it doesn't. There we go. So what will actually happen is all of the blocks that we've lined up there in, in, the, in the tower, I guess. I'll call it a tower are being destroyed right now so as you can see we are getting rid of literally everything including the stone and everything like that so I'm just gonna jam this now so you can see how that would work um, and you can see how much is just cleared out already so the bacteria does spread really 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 quickly I guess I mean it doesn't at first but as soon as it starts spreading it creates mass of the spready thing and you can create these really cool like welds I guess with this as well so it is a really cool mod okay guys so I've vacated to a different location to show you this last replacer colony well the replacer colony it's a really cool uh, really cool feature um, really cool item that they've added in so what we're gonna do is we are going to replace the, well place down I mean the colony now what I'm gonna do is is you can use any block you wish. Um, so if we've got a large area and we want to replace, um, say we've got the, the gravel, the dirt down here, and we want to replace it with a different material such as stone or gravel or something like that, you can do it with the replacer colony block. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the TNT on top of the replacer colony, and we are going to put a redstone torch next to it. That that TNT block will disappear. And you can see it spreads dramatically to all the location. Now it doesn't really work with TNT because it just blows it up. But um, let me just let me just go over to a different location. Let me just move over to here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the dirt with um, let's go with let's go with stone. So we're going to put the stone there. We're going to light this up. Um, I don't know. Yeah. There we go. Um, and hopefully all of this material will turn into stone. There we go. You can see it's it's starting to work there. I didn't know if it worked there for a second uh, because it is so slow. But you can see that all of the grass is turning into stone, which I think is really cool. Now, there are a couple of bugs in this uh, mod, but it's still a really cool mod. And I'm loving this mod to pieces. I love it. Um, I was considering putting it in my in my um, series, but I thought, you know what, I'll probably do some damage to my series if I do that because everything will blow up. But it's really for like cool effects. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set up one last thing, and I'm gonna show you that. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just finished infecting the whole of this area, um, removing all of the stone. Now I just wanted to show you this because I thought this was quite a cool um, quite a cool way to get materials fast so say that we were in like a survival get like game or something so we were just playing survival we had this mod installed now what we'd be able to do is we'd be able to get rid of all the stone down to bedrock and it will give us an easier location or easier way of finding diamonds gold redstone all of the all of the list of ores it's a really cool really cool cool mod for, for doing that sort of thing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down a little bit more and I'm gonna hope wait this isn't gonna work is it let me place that on top there we go uh, and this should have it even more now the root is a little bit laggy this because I think you might expect it being a little bit laggy seems as um you are deleting a massive part of the world but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and find some diamonds so you can see already we found some redstone we found some iron we found some coal now can we find any lapis we there's gold we found gold there's gold um, now we're just going to keep going down and here's the bedrock and as you can see we have just found ourselves our first diamond now they're probably um look, there we go there's some more there's more diamonds uh let's keep going um i'm gonna probably actually you know what let's um let's jam all of this bacteria now Twenty thousand blocks i've just jammed so there you go you can see all of the materials here this is absolutely amazing. This is it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how much uh, material there is in a generated world, um, and this mod does this um, does it re really well 
justi justifies it. I, I don't know what I'm on about. But yeah, guys, this is the mod. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and go and check out the mod creator. Um, go and look at his forum, download the mod for yourself and test it out. And I can see that my, uh, my must is still growing. Um, it does take a little while to grow, but hey, it's definitely worth it for this mod. The, the amount of destruction that you can do. Now, what I think would be really cool is if this mod was integrated into sort of like a um, like a, a game. So you have to create yourself, you need to grow yourself some must. So we have like two teams, you create the must, then you, um, you grow your bacteria, get your bacterium um, colonies, then you set them off, and the first one to reach the other player's... Um, like side of the the world would be the winner and i think that might look that'd be a really cool way to to use this mod i think it's a really cool and i'm going to end this on the sunset when the sun sets is it going down it is going down isn't it there we go look at the sunset so yeah guys this is the mod this is the bacteria mod yeah and if you liked it go check out the mod forum and be sure to give the guy some good feedback on this mod um and get that game we want that game <laughs> anyway guys thank you ever so much and i'll see you in my next mod spotlight Bye-bye for now.